by what looks like the world's worst boy band. The general hands out some timely advice to our first contestant, probably about life insurance providers. And off he goes. His aim is to make it to the top without being crushed, making use of the occasional hidey holes on the stairway. Viewers of a sensitive nature should look away now. Ooh. Oh, right in the clock six. He is out, a victory for onesie direction. Our next contestant is away, living the dream, or should that be the nightmare? He's obviously been on a crash course in staircase survival, or maybe a crush course at the School of Hard Knocks. OK, I'll stop now. This is the most gruelling attempt to get up a staircase since my nan's stairlift got stuck in first gear. That really was quite traumatic for all involved. Anyway, you have to admire him. He's determined to get to the top against all the odds, like a young Ed Sheeran. He just doesn't know when to quit. Until, of course, he's flattened by a giant boulder. That's when he quits. Another smash for onesie direction. So far, only a Dalek could have done worse on the stairs. And our next contestant is having a tough time as well. But she's still staggering on like someone on their sixth hour of the London Marathon. And just to add to her troubles, the guards are ganging up on her. This is how I feel on Twitter some days. But there's a twist. The tables are turned. Ooh, I haven't seen a hit like that since The Sopranos. Ooh. And the loser becomes the winner. The guards are out of ammunition. What a turnaround. And look at them worship her. Rockaway's very own Queen Bee. Not quite Beyonce, more Beyonce Bee. Here's Sun Puri, our first contestant today on the Super Bowl of Bouncing Boulders, or as we like to call it, the Super Boulder. I've got a good feeling about this. I think this fellow will go far, well, at least to the top of these stairs. But the guards, once again, are overly enthusiastic. They're on him like paparazzi on Justin Bieber, and that never ends well. But somehow, Sun Puri escapes without even the need for a lawyer or any kind of a financial settlement. And into the final hidey hole he goes. He's so close to victory now, he can smell it. But that's not victory he can smell, because the guards have him kettled like a kipper. He's bottled it. He's following the brown brick road. He's down. He's out. It's a rollover.